Hey guys, Everything Disney Family coming at you. I'm Dave. I'm Nicole. Welcome to our video. Our video. This is just a very spontaneous video, only because we haven't done a video. It's been video. so long since we've sat here. I mean, it's probably before our trip in December. Yeah. We had a very, very magical trip to Disney World in December for all the holiday festivities all the holiday and... things at Disney World, and it was it was pretty amazing. We have been, uh, me and Nicole have been working um, a lot of hours the last couple weeks, so we're sorry we weren't able to get any videos out, but we want to make sure we got on here as quick as we can and to get something out there, and we're just going to talk a little bit about what's been going on in the parks the last couple days. We're going to tell you a little bit about what we got coming up in the future, and some of the fun stuff Nicole has going on over yeah, on Instagram. Lauren. And she's Lauren. <laughs> I came in at the wrong time. Bye-bye. All right, so Nicole, you want to start us off here? Yeah, where do we want to start? Do we do we want to talk about the the craziness let's, at Epcot yesterday? Let's go with the craziness <laughs> at Epcot. Okay, yesterday. so this just like blows me away, and I am so interested and so I don't know. I just think it's weird, but also really cool. I guess I don't know. Yeah. So yesterday was the first day of the International Festival of the Arts at Epcot. So this festival is pretty short. It's only, it's like just over a month long, which also seems weird to me that like Flower yeah. and Garden is like it starts in March and it goes until July where this festival's like... So they probably had just this little window and they yeah. had to just squeeze a festival in so there anyways, and that's what they did. Um, festival of the Arts, we were there for this, let's see, back in 2018 and 2019. It is, it's a great festival. A lot of good food, so much artwork around. Um, I, the festivals at Epcot are just so amazing. Anyways, so at the start of the festival yesterday, also a figment popcorn bucket was released. Have you heard about this figment popcorn bucket? Maybe Dave can put a picture of it here. This figment popcorn bucket looks amazing. It looks so good. And I we have popcorn buckets. We have one oh, yeah, there look, and, Mickey right and there. behind Nicole. Oh, well, it's... He's over there. We have the know, alien over there. Lauren, do you want to go grab the alien? Popcorn bucket? Alien popcorn Okay, bucket. so this popcorn bucket is even... The figment popcorn bucket is a little more expensive than um, normal. Also, it's $25. So Disney knew that that they were going to be in high demand. Anyways, they were saying that the line was six hours long for this popcorn bucket. For a bucket. So I want to know if you can leave a comment down below, and I've done this on my Instagram also. I want to know what is something that you would wait six hours for? What is so? Yeah, what is something you guys would wait six hours like, in for? Here's some of my things that maybe I would wait six hours for. For to go into Club Thirty Three, would you wait six hours for that? No, no, I wouldn't. If if I have to wait in park hours to go in there, if I had to get there at like two a.m. and mm -hmm. I could get right in at eight a.m. Yeah. for breakfast, I would maybe consider it because I'm an early riser. You know, I would maybe, but not I think, during the day. I think I would wait six hours. During park hours, though, you would wait? While everyone's having fun and out there and you just sit outside the door and wait six hours? Maybe. Yeah. What it's, I guess it depended on how many park days I had. If, like, I only had one park day, maybe not. But, um, okay, what about for a stay in Cinderella's castle at Magic Kingdom? Uh, is it guaranteed after the six-hour wait? Sure. Or is it a lottery system? No. It's, if you wait... In line, if you know that you have you have to sit there for six hours, and you get to stay in the Cinderella suite no. inside. No, no, I wouldn't do it. This is a room that you cannot, there's not even a price tag for this, because you cannot purchase it. It has to be, like, gifted to you by Disney. Yeah. I mean, I, I've waited a long time for lots of stuff, like, especially Black Friday. We waited countless hours at 4 o'clock, 3 o'clock yeah. in the morning for stores to open. Never been six hours. I've waited for WrestleMania tickets. I actually got second row for WrestleMania. I had to go outside the box office when box offices were still a thing and it wasn't online. So I got there like three hours early and so I waited. I think we wait. What's the longest we ever waited for a ride at Disney? I think Smuggler's Run. Smuggler's Run that in first 2019. month it opened. I think we waited about three hours. Yeah, and that was, was that was at the high end of really my, crazy. my waiting period. <laughs> that was... That was something. We timed it right, though. We did it in the middle of the day so that we, like, that morning we got all the little rides done. At, you know, like, in Fanny, we did, I feel like we timed it right, and then we went to Smuggler's Run, yeah. and we waited three hours. So our whole afternoon was spent waiting in that queue. 
that's so fair. I don't know. That's I'm interested to hear what you think. What is something that you would wait six hours for? I mean, is there an amount of money that you would wait six hours for? Like if you were to be oh, to I, be would, given, I would do that. Yeah, you know how they have contests where everyone holds their hands on a yeah. car, and I mean, if it was something worthwhile, if it's something I needed, if it was like a they're gonna pay off my house. I would wait more than six hours. <laughs> or if they're, well, okay, what if they're gonna give you a thousand dollars? A thousand dollars? Well, I have, yeah, I would wait six hours. Yeah. So that's why not. Like, do both of my hands have to be on it, or just one? Could I? <laughs> I don't know. Do I get a bathroom break? I I don't think so. The rules? No. I don't know. Well, I don't know. Do so, I just go in my pants? <laughs> oh my All goodness. Right. So, so tell us in the comments. That's what's happening at Epcot. I don't know what's going on in Epcot now if the line is still crazy if they still have them in stock because that's the other thing the people all the way in the back of the line that are waiting six hours how do they know that when they get to the front of the line that there's even going to be a figment available. Yeah. And then also talking about Epcot coming this year and it is coming this year we don't know a date um... Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind, yeah. the new roller coaster. What's when does that movie come out? I, I think the guess. movie's been pushed back to 23. Oh, darn. But because of COVID and everything like that. But I know that all the actors and um, everybody involved, because they're shooting the movie right now, they shot promos and different things for the rides already. And they're mm -hmm. already in post-editing and and post-production so they're going to be ready to go i've been hearing a lot of things about summer 2022 yeah and the way disney does it i have to imagine they're going to want to do that before the the quarter starts or right after quarter start so i'm thinking late i wonder if they'll do a pass holder preview i'm thinking it's late or not pass holders. i'm thinking memorial day weekend i think i think don't be surprised I am 80% sure it's going to be... I don't have insider source information, but going from what they do in the past, and they like to to wrap that up for the summer, you get those summer crowds in there, Memorial Day sounds... You know, they got the foundation laid, the track work, everything's all set to yeah. go. It's just, they're already staffing for it. So I think it's just a matter of time. All right. Well, I hope that you are right, because we are going to be at Walt Disney World in June, and we're going to do Epcot... Magic Kingdom and Hollywood. So, what if they did Lightning trip? Lane for for Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind? Yeah, fifty dollar guarantee Ooh. to get on. Ooh, fifty dollars, man! I'm not gonna say twenty. Twenty, yes, we're doing it. We're paying twenty. Fifty dollars guarantee you to get on, or you can stand in the six hour queue. That's a that's a hundred and fifty dollars for us for a family of three. Hmm. I put her on the spot. Great here. question. I don't know. I mean, you're already there. I think we're doing. I think we're paying the hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. Which that, that's just one less meal that we're going to be eating out at Liberty Tree Tavern. There you go. <laughs> All right. That's interesting. I don't think that they can charge fifty dollars. No. I, I think that they will charge cap. twenty. And I think that we. And I think they're going to be gone in five minutes. Oh, for sure. Every morning. Yeah. So. All right. That'd be interesting. Okay, so I wanted to mention one more thing about the figment popcorn bucket that I think is so clever and so genius. And whoever did this, props mm -hmm. to you. So this person went, of course, all these people buying these figment popcorn buckets are putting them on eBay right away. So they're listed on eBay for $100, $200. It's crazy. I've seen one sell for $279. So. Yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. So during all this, like at 11 a.m. on Friday, somebody drew a picture of a figment popcorn bucket, drew it with a pen and paper. On an 8 by 11 piece of paper. <laughs> and they posted it on eBay for like 99 cents and said, look, I have a draw. It's, and they even wrote, I have a bad drawing of figment and I'll even throw in a bag of microwave popcorn, like as a total joke. And I just think it is so clever. You guys, that piece of paper ended up selling. It ended up having like, hundreds of bids on it there was over two like we were bids. watching it it was like two hundred dollars it was four hundred dollars it was six hundred dollars it sold for ten ten thousand dollars in one hundred ten thousand one hundred dollars for a piece of paper for a piece of paper of a drawing of the popcorn bucket you don't yes. even get the real bucket <laughs> a normal generic piece so of paper. the seller also posted that 90 percent of the pros 90 percent of the sale um, would go to Habitat for Humanity. So I just think that that's great. 
Um, I also just saw another video on Instagram that I shared on our stories where a man, um, he got his two figment popcorn buckets because there is a limit of two per person. And he said, this one's for my mom. And this one is for, I'm going to do some Disney magic here and I'm going to go give it to somebody at the back of the line. And he showed us the whole line looping through, looping through. And he was at the end of the line. There's somebody in a figment spirit Jersey and he handed her the popcorn bucket. That's amazing. And that's just, I didn't even hear that story. There's good people out there in this world. There really is. And I think yeah. that that is so awesome. Yeah. Amen. Those people, those people, we need more people like that. Yeah. That is awesome. So, yeah. If you guys haven't yet, check out Nicole's and mine, but mostly Nicole. She runs Instagram. She has a reel that is is super hot right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's so exciting when this happens, when these reels just take off. It, I don't know what the rhyme or reason is, but... Um, let's see. So it's at 71,000 views right now, almost 72,000. And we'll, we'll show it to you here. So that's Lauren with Rapunzel at Walt Disney World. And here, this is at Sir Mickey's right behind the castle at Walt Disney World. You can get pixie dust for free. You can kind of see her sparkle there in her hair. So here it is again. So it's just, it's a cool tip if you're going to Magic Kingdom that you can get this free pixie dust. Um, just a little bit of extra, extra Disney magic, extra Disney magic there for you. Yeah. Um, Bippity Boppity Boutique is still closed at Magic Kingdom and that was a super cool experience Lauren did when she was three, turn, almost turning yeah. four, I think. Um, so much fun. And I believe that when Bippity Boppity Boutique was open, you could also go in there to get the free pixie dust. So this is not a new thing, but they've just moved it over to Sir Mickey's for the... Well, speaking of a whole bunch of fun and fun things happening, what about our upcoming cruise this year? Yes, we are going on the Disney Wish in June. And that is the brand new cruise ship that... Um, is not going to start sailing until June. So we are so excited for that. So we are not on the inaugural cruise. We are on the second cruise. Or maybe is it the third? I think it's the second. Okay. I'm not sure. Not sure. But if anybody is on the ship the same time that we are, if you watch our videos, come up to us. Say hi. We'd love is to meet you guys. A cruise? What? Is it the Disney Wish? Yes. We're going on the Wish. We're going on the Wish? Yeah. So if anybody, like I said, come up, say hi, have a drink with us. If you guys got kids, Lauren would love to play with you guys and have some magic and talk to all things Disney on the Disney cruise. And then we got, no drinks. she said no drinks, no drinks for her. I'm having all the drinks. <laughs> um, and then we're going to, after that, we're going to go back to Walt Disney World. We got to stay at uh, French Quarter and we are going to be doing a couple park days. We haven't really... Decided what park days yet? We're kind of still. No, I have the park days picked. You already did. All yeah, right. we had to Nicole, reserve them. Nicole's on top of yeah, it. Yeah, so we're doing Magic Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, and Epcot. Uh, you, you're on top of it because you know more than I do. No Animal Kingdom. But speaking of Animal Kingdom, that's another reel that I just created that I would love to share here also because I think that Animal Kingdom sometimes gets skipped. Like it is going to be skipped for us on this coming trip. Because a lot of times we only go for four nights, so we only do three park days. So which which park do, which park would you skip if you were only doing three of the four? Often Animal Kingdom gets dropped. So I want to show you why you should not drop Animal Kingdom because I think that it is a great park. Yeah. Okay, so here we have Pandora. The safari, of course, amazing. The bird show, that's Lauren. The Lion King show. Kite tails, like my new favorite, absolutely love it. All of the character flotillas, I'm gonna try to say that. There's another one, it's Pocahontas. The food, of course. And the views. And the views, look at that, the tree of life. So fun. So just guys, else to share with you guys. we just want to pop in, kind of update you with a little bit of stuff with Disney News, a little bit of news with us. And uh, sorry, we've been slacking a little bit on videos on YouTube, but uh, we've been busy. But but we didn't forget about our family here on on YouTube, and 
I'm me, me and Nicole and Lauren and our channel. We get, we're gonna have a fun giveaway. We're playing. We got something in the works. I'm gonna have a video come out in about the next week or so on that. And we can't wait to uh, do another live stream and do another game night. And and remember, leave down in the comments. Uh, what would you guys wait six hours for? We'd like to hear what you have to say. Um, anybody who leaves a comment down there, I'm gonna make sure I reply as well to whatever anybody says. Look, and here's Belle. Bella has to come and say goodbye. Hi, Belle. And me while he walks this balloon go out that's... in outer space. Uh-oh. Well, guys, <laughs> God bless you. May you guys have a very, very special Bye. holiday. If you guys are off for Martin Luther King Day, um, may you be very safe out there. Um, be well. Um, many health and prayers for everybody in our community. And we'll catch you guys next time, okay? Bye. Bye. Bye.